Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Hitman playthrough, and today we're going to start off with episode 14. We require your services once again, and this time you will have to prove your money's worth. Our client has lost some cargo, which he wants back at any cost. It appears to be stolen by a bunch of renegades armed to the teeth. The cargo is hidden somewhere in the desert. This is a two-stage mission. First, you must eliminate Lieutenant Ahmed Zahir and get a map from him. It shows the location of the cargo. He's quite weak, has a pacemaker, and goes for a nap every day after noon prayers. So this is a good time to eliminate him without raising any suspicions. If the alarm is sounded, the mission will fail. He's well guarded and behind locked doors, where only his trusted personal bodyguards have keys and access. Both his and the guards' quarters are situated in front of the palace. When this is done, you will have to kill Colonel Mohammed Amin and steal the key he's holding. It's an important part of the cargo. Call me when you're done with the lieutenant, and I will brief you on the whereabouts of the colonel. On the video, you can see both targets. It's the lieutenant entering the house. I repeat, eliminate the lieutenant without any alarm, get the map, and call me for further information. Okay, so now we can select our equipment. Uh, basically, all I'm planning on going with are the silver ballers. Of course, classic hitman weapons. For all you fans out there, you will know it. Um, I've been a long time basically inactive with my playthroughs because I was busy playing the Call of Duty season and I had other obligations that I had to fulfill. But as you can see, I'm completely back now. And we're going to dive right in it. I'm your host, White Wolf NLD. just nicely and get the job done. Probably a few obstacles to clear away. And just as always, I'm gonna try and do it as stealthily as possible. So the first part is very important of this mission. You have to do it really quick. And it's very important you're gonna stop running at the point where I do it, that which is here at the corner. Because we need to take someone down that's inside. If you make too much sound, there is a chance that he will turn around and it might take you a couple of attempts to get it done. You want him to have his back turned towards where we're gonna head upstairs. And as you can see now I'm trying to do the, the glitch with the map and it worked luckily to save us some time. So yeah our target is right upstairs here. And with our luck, yes, his back is turned towards us so we can proceed. Just remember to do it all crouching. We don't want to attract any attention. As always, we're aiming for that silent assassin rating. So take him out with your fiber wire. Diana, it's then you need to pick up the coordinates. First part of the mission is completed. What's okay. Next? That's perfect, 47. Now, now you're going out next and still keep crouched area. because two to bodyguards have wishes, entered the house now at the bottom, but they're with Colonel their back Mohammed towards you. So if you keep crouched, you can go out the he same way you went in. With a bodyguard. When completed, you must proceed to the eastern gate to exit. Remember to dodge any guards looking for infidels on the way, but hurry. When the guards find there you out go. that the we made it outside. is dead, the colonel will most definitely try to escape. Then we're gonna make a run for the other side. Now we need to enter this tunnel. Uh, basically you can just do it fast. I was a little hes hesitating because it's been a while since I was playing. So, But as you can see now it's alright. Now this is the slowest part of the mission. We're gonna need to wait until the second target gets here. Um, this can take a long time. Not always, but it can take a long time. As you can see, I'm popping up my map here. I know this is not very fun to watch during videos, so I'm going to skip ahead to the part where it's actually going to happen to kill. So I'll see you all in a little bit, in a couple of seconds, because for you it's going to be a couple of seconds, for me it's going to be a couple of minutes. Let's wait till the second part. Okay, well, finally he's on his way to us now, so that means we can make our move. He has a bodyguard with him. Um, that's the only thing you want to look out for. You have to time this really fast, because he's only going to take a small smoke break, and then he's going to move on again. So get your fiber wire out, 
Tighten it up. Get behind him. Fiber wire him as well. Okay. And now we're gonna pick up the key. And we're gonna drag his body. Because we don't want his bodyguard to find the, the corpse. Okay, now we can release him. The only thing you want to watch out for is that the bodyguard does not see you in this area. So you need to do it really quick and keep moving. I've taught you that in episode 1 already. As long as you keep on moving, you should be fine. So here goes the same rule. Keep moving. Don't be alarmed by the, the, the notoriety meter and the vibrations in your controller. Just keep doing what you're doing. It's the same thing here. There's going to be two guards on your left. Just take it easy. Walk towards the exit slowly. And here we go. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now let's see if you made the silent assassin rating. And yes, here we go. Once again. Perfect silent assassin. Okay everyone, thank you for watching. Keep it safe, keep it cool, keep it real. And I'll see you all tomorrow for episode 15. Peace out.